Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Blind. On the last episode, we started doing the shrines around the Tabantha region that we had unlocked, thanks to the DLC of the Champion's Ballad. Uh, we did all three shrines, and instead of getting spirit orbs at the end, we got Meadow's Emblems, which, when we brought it over to Va Meadow, unlocked a flashback to us fighting Windblight Ganon, and we had to fight him again using specific items and inventory stuff and clothing and whatever. But we managed to defeat Windblight Ganon again, and we got a memory of when Zelda recruited Rivali for the champion thing. And then Rivali kind of showed up and gave us Rivali's Gale Plus, which is an upgrade of his champion's power. So, on this episode... We're going to be heading over to uh, Zora's Domain area over there to go do Varuda and the challenges over there for the shrines. Not about that one. Uh, you know, let's start with the one in the ocean because I'm, cu I'm curious. I don't think any of these are going to be blessings because these all should be related to the champion's trials. Well, nothing changed here. Like, there's no plus symbol next to the bird. Mostly because I don't think... That just signifies that I have the meadow. Not that I have Rivali's Gale. There's a treasure chest nearby. I don't want to spend time looking for that. Actually, I'm curious. And now I don't care. This is the this is the eastmost shrine I think on the map because it's in the ocean. So these are shrines that Mifa would have had to deal with, I think. I'm, that, I think that's what I'm. Well, hold on. <laughs> okay, it has to do with water and ice. You said to put in this shrine. I am Key to Funia, the name of the goddess Hylia. I offer this trial. The melting point. There's a torch there. I mean, I don't think I have the inventory space to hold the torch. I don't. I do have this rusty broadsword and a rusty halberd. But I also have the great flame blade, so I could just equip that. Eh, you know what? I don't care. What, whatever this. You know, I, you know what? I don't want the golden claymore. I'll take the. I'll take this. <laughs> I think the torch is melting the ice way quicker than the flame blade would be able to. I'd also push them out of the way if I need to. I push an ice block out. A new one just got spawned in. One also spawns an ice block. There's got to be something in the middle of all these ice blocks. Like, how am I supposed to get up there? Well, this is just, this lets me spawn multiple ice blocks, so maybe I could create a, a stepping stone with it. I said stone weird. Good enough. You're actually near fire, so. There, I can get up here now. Oh, 
Oh, I can only have two per area. So until I destroy those ones. It says I can't climb the ice blocks. I need to find out where this chest is. I feel like I don't need to push this one so low because I could probably just do that. Oh, but now I'm up here. Still melting that one down there, huh? Oh, there's an ice. I see something. Hold on. Let me through. Yep, there's a hidden room back here. I see you, chest. Can almost go through. This flame blade's gonna break before I get a chance to open it. There we go. Frost blade. Actually, do I do I have a frost item? I don't. Do I? Well, goodbye. Uh, goodbye thing. I need to get my elemental swords back since I threw away half of them while I was trying to take pictures of things. There's no more chests either, so I don't need to worry. Okay, what's the what's the what's the deal here? That's probably not tall enough for me to uh us all the way to the top, huh? No. So I think I'll need to push this. This responds with a new ice block. I want to see what this does. Uh oh, stay away from the water. Well, it looks like I might need to be small enough to like, crawl underneath that thing. Oh no, that's nothing. Alright, then you need to get under here. Yeah, that should work. I think I got this frost blade. That's not enough. That might just be... Tall enough? Or yeah, it might be straight. Oh no, it bounced off. It's a little too tall still. There, now you're good. I, I can kinda push it. 
I could just do this. Well, I need another ice block. This is the only one I have. Alright, you kind of fell there. Let's try and let's try and keep this in this general area. Put one here. Okay, now I just need to melt this to uh, to get the ability to climb up it. Aha! That was a little problematic, but I managed to solve it. Took a while. Glad I had the flame blade because I don't know how to have done that with a torch. Runa's emblem. Commemorative symbol of a water's trials completion by one who wishes to control a divine beast. Collecting three emblems will lead to a new challenge. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. Two remain. I wonder how Mifa would have done that trine. I mean, she can, she can swim, so she doesn't really need to worry. But that was mostly about ice and fire. Not about water. Oh, hi, Lizalfos. Leave me alone. <laughs> the good thing about these shrines being around uh, Zora's domain is that I can now have I now have more access points to try and look around for Zora monuments, which I still need to do. As a side quest I've had for a long time. We d we did Varuda on episode thirty nine, I think thirty nine or forty. I mean, it hasn't been that long since... Well, I mean, it's been less time than Va Meadow, but... I mean, 40? And we're at episode 113? <laughs> well, look at the change of the episode numbers between when we did Va and Aboris, which I think it was in the 70s, 72 something. To when we started this! Ooh, I like to look at this one. To you, says, within this shrine, I am Ma Elia. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Secret stairway. How do you get that? Anything behind the waterfall? Nope. We go.
But it looks like things I need to get. And that block is equal. Well, I, I still need you. To tell for the time being. I mean, the thing is, these go all the way up. So I'm wondering why they go all the way up. There's not a waterfall past it. Oh, there's even more past that entrance than I thought. under here that'll reach me up to there Kinda close? I feel like there's some sort of stasis energy that I can do. Like just cause us to fling itself all the way up to the top. Like everything I'm doing here is kind of pointless. Maybe? I don't know. Reach that? Not from here. I mean, there's still a, there's still a little bit more floor space I can push it up with. Nope. Actually, I can grab it. that was what I needed to do like the, the extra height there is just a joke another royal shield with durability up huh well you don't have durability up so I guess you go I would like to get the actual famous shield though if I could I wonder how much I wonder how much that's gonna be I can't walk off while I'm holding something. All right, you're gonna go right there. could push it all the way up there if I wanted to. Actually, hold on. Let me do this. Huh. Okay, that's not... Okay, that wasn't good enough. That wasn't a good jump. Ta-da! Oh, that was just it. 
I thought there was gonna be like another puzzle after this. Well, good. That made me feel smart. Also, I think I, 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 I think by doing that, I solved why they go so high. Cause I could just use another metal block underneath it and push it up. No stasis required. Collect three emblems to open the path to a new challenge. One remains. Granter of Boons. The far reaches of the continent, there's a being that trades in heart containers and salmon vessels. Yeah, we know who that is. Wouldn't really say they're a creature. There's one left. That one. Oh, I thought I was like, what happened? I picked travel. It is being slow. We get this done. We head back over to Varuda. We take on Waterblade Ganon again. Which we'll have. We'll, we have access to our Cryonis. Cryosis. Cryonis. <laughs> How many episodes have we had it? I, I still feel like it's. It's Cryonis. Ooh, the the vine these uh, the the guardian slings are back. Well, there was a blood moon, so I would expect them to be back. I wonder if they were around before I unlocked the monument. You never really did take a look. What ice block puzzle am I going to be solving here? I hear a ball. Ooh, a waterfall ball puzzle. To use this foot in this shrine, I am Sato Koda. Name the goddess Hilia, I offer this trial. <laughs> Support and guidance. Well, I can see something I'm gonna go do right now. I'm gonna get that chest. There's a button down there. Why is there a staircase that goes all the way up there? The sideways waterfall should give me a never-ending ability to climb all the way to the top. I mean, I can have three, but I just need to get up here. Giant ancient core. And that was the only chest. Okay, let's take a look. Ball goes through. Immediately drops on the first hole. Okay, though, which one is it? Uh, hmm. The button has to do something because I don't see. We'll start by getting it weighed down.
That wasn't right. Could just keep it going. Kinda just dies there, doesn't it? Hmm. It has lights leading me to that. Which would put it on that button. However, from the button, how would I get it over there? That wasn't quick enough there. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm just guessing what I can do. That one's been trapped. I mean, not that high up. Well, now it just goes that way. Oh, oh, I pushed that one. What I need to do is, I think I need to get... I don't know what I need to do here. The thing is, it can't go... Oh, but this is going to be one of those where I'm overthinking it a lot. I need to get the ball in that, right there. That's where the ball needs to end up. The problem is, it can't end up there if that is facing down like that. So I need to get this side up. That just drops down there though. I need to deflect it. Maybe that one's just a like, decoy. Can't go down there and reach because it's too thin.
that just caused it to drop all the way down. Of course, the last one I need is is the giant ice puzzle. Actually, I got it stuck. Hold on. something there let's get it stuck again like I'm thinking I'm trying to think if this is one long part that I just need to do it but it could be it could be multiple so it goes here This goes here. <laughs> I'm gonna try and push it in. Whatever it gets to work. And there's only like half of it too. Roll. You have a frantic bow. I do have a frantic bow. It's so close. But then we have then we have to worry about what the button means. <laughs> Look at all the arrows that are piling up over by the I guess I'd launch it up. You know, I could do a rescue mission to get all those arrows back, but I think they were worth it. Yeah, once I once I once I realized that I didn't need to think of it as one continuous thing, made it a lot a lot easier. Just get it stuck somewhere so that I could plan out the next step. That probably wasn't how it's supposed to be. Like definitely, like it's supposed to probably be a little bit more smoother than that. But I did it, so it doesn't matter. We, as long as it got solved, it got solved. Now that you have collected the three emblems, you must go to the divine beast, Varuda. And I will. Oh, no. <laughs> Water Blade Cannon, I think, was one of the simpler ones. Because we had our ice abilities. It's a shame I can't use my Master Sword, because I had it for Fire Blight, and I had it for uh, Thunder Blight, but I guess I'm not going to have it during those fights. Even if it was, like, the unupgraded version, I'd still like it. Let's get out of here before I get spotted. So in terms of armor, I think I'm going to be wearing the Zora's armor. I might have a Zora spear or a Zora sword. Maybe a silver sword. I will have some arrows. Probably some 
Probably like a silver bow. Maybe some thunder arrows. Shock arrows. I don't see Cass anywhere. I want to keep my eye on him this time to see if he disappears like he did before. And how he disappeared. One who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. I forgot that, I forgot that, uh... I forgot that Cass doesn't show up until after the battle. He just shows up while I'm unconsciously standing here, going, uh... All right, Water Blade Ganon. I really hope I didn't have to take a picture of like their in in mind version. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Let's take a look. I have a silver bow. I only have 10 arrows. Ugh. I have a, I have the light skill tridents and I have two ceremonial tridents. I don't think I have a picture of the ceremonial tridents. What's the difference between them? Like nothing. <laughs> they look exactly the same. Have my armor. And I got other fish. I wonder if Urbosa's Fury would just be terrible against this thing. I just wanted to try it. I was surprised I didn't get shocked either.
I forgot how to fight him. <laughs> oh no! Alright, he gets his sword back. As soon as he breaks it, he goes away. I want to break a sword, huh? Actually, <laughs> teleporting with his weapon now. Only 10 arrows, that kind of sucks. I do, my, I do have my, I have a ceremonial trend equipped. I do have my, uh, states equipped. I didn't do anything, did it? No, I do have a picture of him. Yeah, I completely forgot how to fight this guy. The fact that I only have 10 arrows makes me really not want to use. Come on, he's about half. We got him in the half despite not knowing how to really fight him. <laughs> Nezga has his own cryonis. That's why I have tridents. Put the broken his face out. On, bud an arrow over there that I missed I don't have any more arrows but there's a shiny thing over there There's an arrow here. I didn't see it. I'm being I'm being reckless now. The fact that I, could, I don't know how to fight him is really making me upset right now. He's just staying there while I just do this over and over again. Teleporting over there. Let's get a little closer. He broke mine. 
and Sente is flying. Ugh. See, if I throw my spear, though, it breaks. And I only have two left. That's what I do. I have to get up to those things and throw bombs at him. Quit breaking my things! Did that even do anything? I'm turning him a little bit. Not a lot, though. How did I survive that? Okay, how, what does it look like for food? Oh, well, I can't really cook these, so... Uh, as soon as I fell in the water, I was like, I'm gonna get hurt here. Get out of the water, you idiot! You know he's doing three out? Oh, great. Why was he shooting three out before? I don't have anything better to do. I, I don't remember what I need to do for this fight. Especially now that I'm out of arrows. I could try the bomb move, but that seems like it's counterintuitive. Like that's not supposed to be what I'm doing. I mean, it's working. Get out of the water. Wow, the frame rate drops. Throwing the spear isn't going to help, because I only have two. The spear strength and durability are inferior. I kind of want to look up what I have to do for this fight, but I feel like you'd be cheating. Nope. that attack I broke my own thing Ow. I don't have a shield either Yeah, I only hit him once. He's going to destroy me. This is a terrible fight. I don't remember what to do. It can't affect that. 
this is not gonna give me the the information I need. Nope, doesn't tell me anything. It just tells me that he attacked with a spear and ice magic. Duh. I'm attacking with ice magic and bombs. There's another barrier. I'm playing really defensively. I hate that I don't I hate that I don't know how to fight him without electric weapons and stuff. Our boat of fury is almost back. I do have a Mipha's Grace, so if he does kill me, I'll get all my health back. So I don't have to worry about that that much. And the next time he does that. That one just breaking against the wall, so I don't even need to stop that one. I actually hit him. Oh, I forgot I dropped that one behind me. Back up you go. Now he's sending out five. This is this is this is so tedious. Do it again. I mean, he's not doing, he's not moving anymore for the time being. Our boat is furious, right? Thank you. That helps.
Perhaps meeting you here was no coincidence. This is the perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts. As well, this is the perfect spot for me to write a song. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Mifa has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast of Aruda, which Mifa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Mifa. Recall the champion of Ruda's wrath. Before she walked her chosen path. Mifa's kindness was known to all. Which is why the princess came to call. So, Princess, may I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali. Gerudo Spirit, Urbosa. And also, the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Link. Oh. Still too young to swim up this big waterfall. One day, Princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta. Sidon, should fate ever part us, I'm counting on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora Princess could be quite strict when necessary. So, what do you think of Champion Mifa's song? By writing a song that captures the determination of Champion Mifa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel much more confident that I can do those missing lyrics justice. You're so strong. So much stronger than before. The power of Mifa's grace will now recharge much faster. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule, as well as the princess who awaits you. Mifa's Grace Plus. Champion Mifa's Divine Gift. If your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full health plus temporary bonus hearts. It now requires less time to recharge. Oh, 
Oh, Pr Prince died on the... He even had a smile way back when he was just a little kid. I, like, I think it had the same glimmer noise, but it was like kind of muted. Which is wonderful. Uh, why does it have to rain right now? Quit raining. Hasn't hasn't Zoro's domain had enough rain recently? Prince Idom just sitting right over there by Mifa's statue. Well, he is protecting it. And he did ask us to help. You're still here. Good. Let's end the episode off by standing next to him. And so we actually have the music fade out, fade out with it. So, that's going to do it for this episode. Champions Meef is Grace now recharged a little bit faster. It was 30 minutes before. Maybe 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Be 10 minutes. Just be overpowered. <laughs> so, on the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Blind, we're going to be heading over to... You can't actually see it from here. Oh, yeah, you can. The Goron City area and do the three shrines over there. Then head over to Valrodania and find out what we have to do with Fireblight Ganon. Fireblight Ganon? Uh, I don't remember the fight with Fireblight Ganon either, so maybe I should rewatch that before I actually do the episode so I have some sort of knowledge on <laughs> like what happened this episode. The only reason we won was because the Vosa Fury charged up and recharged at the exact right moment. That, and I think Water Blood Ganon was weakened to electricity, so it really helped. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy. <laughs>